Catherine's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Who writes these notices? Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Hi, oh, mate. Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Geerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mans. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Ogeard. You? Not likely. I'm Ogeard. <laughs> <laughs> You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. 
goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved a long pike up your arse? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Master Witcher. Chests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Old Gate. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? I happen to like it. Especially the two ovoid forms. A jester. Good. I don't like men with no sense of humor. They bore me to death. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgeard, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. Is some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion's special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. Hey. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daff wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. 
Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Papers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No, but Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. The devil? <laughs> you don't mind man wanting a soap. Ooh. Oi. Why there? What for? Life kick you in the ass. Had enough. It's a terrible beast browse the sewer down that way. Best of all to get. Devoured dozens of men, these folks. And many of all. Large. Man's most likely. <laughs> Thought only women came looking for the cursed prince. No, oh, you don't. Hear me. Don't you dare. Please, don't do this to me. Shani? Geralt? What are you doing here? I'm trying to save his life. 
Help me! Shani, calm down. He's dead. I'm sure something can be done. Let it go. Damn it! All for nothing. You did all you could. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh, good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always, mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army force you to come here, too? Or are you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Redanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. But now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth- Careful. Monster might still be here. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas. Oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well. Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look. 
No. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Bronze? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. He's probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Geralt! Are you alright? I'm fine. I can't get down this way. I'll look for something else. Alright? I'm fine. You? How'd you get in here? I told you. Vern had a key to the grate. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting the beast likes alcohol? Mm -hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Watch out, move!
counters everywhere. Strange. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in a fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But... No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh. Fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Kalava. Kalave Khan. Gadarash I'll Wu. come to and he can speak human turns out started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with me reflection in the pistol kit where where am I on the albatross on the fuck bath oil it's a strange tongue has it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard Seems you killed that prince. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wagered their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Caligran, at your service. Petty thing, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. One of the bit of time. Why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut up. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, I could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwen. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. We been at sea long? To know rightly. Not that long. Though, on the other hand, well, what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes. Hey, black horses with white stripes they got in Sanguibar. That I'm sure of. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Bah. Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you some of that time. Elkal Orial. What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakal Sorkan. Galavan Kar U Albata again. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Balar. Karbaretaner. You'd be dead already. Rev Hagar ne Aram Ekan. Dorgate ya alami. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Falth Alake or Irulat. What? Erkal! Bailth. Falth Alake, Il, Echali. Erkal. Inkal Avr Ikel Ugaherev and Ulvitar. Inch Avar Goliath. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang in two weeks. And then he added something like, We'll see who's in the mood for jokes then. Why? What did I say? That you wanted his auntie's hat. That was the gist on your road. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. 
they puff up, you notice, like them fish. What's it they call them? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with them. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. I've got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Gaunter Odin. Known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this lot doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, beneath the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Not one bit. They heave like devils. Make me stomp churn. Oh, give me prime to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm. But be that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? The other drum. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see him. What kind of hell? Tari, flaying, and water. This is for regicide and hells.
Giddy up. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your feelings? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. What did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. Now the time's come to pay, yet he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. 
many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Old Geard appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help. And help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He has thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgierd owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Know what? This business, it's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please, hear me out. You shall see Olgierd as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgierd had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us, yet we won't know what they are until we see him. Uh, all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgierd, his three requests? Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgierd. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Fine. I'll go see Olgierd with you. But no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. 
We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Look who's here! The witch you with a stick up his ass! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory fox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags on with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ate with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! Did you kill me now? I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa. Nerves a little raw? Why? You deaf! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Sod off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off! We've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow and believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell's this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, y'all got no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir? the dribble to subside. Makes no difference to me. Just listen. Stunt. Fight. Such a fight, get Made of... Oh!
well struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. Getting off cheap head. Really necessary, that whole show? Ah. Show, come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plow through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. You know what this is? I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left to a child, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All geared once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. All geared grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet, he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you'll never complete them. 
Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa is something that disagreed with him. You never know about their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Could have told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense? I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine. Seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. And necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. 
The only Bossodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay, can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. The fox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The Ambies don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <coughs> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. So, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains. Because they've not got beauty. Isn't that right, lads? Oh, aye. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a 10 L pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, witch, yeah. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Sorry, none of your business. Come on. There's some kind of secret. You embarrassed. She's quite fetching, and you're, well, none too handsome, but a witcher. Lasses like your type. Come now, fess up. You fancy her or not? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. 
that there are Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Northgardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Um, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. Yeah, classic Radovid. Can't complain, really. I've lived at home since the fighting subsided, resumed my practice, and simply treat the ill. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right, monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Met him a while back in White Orchard. At the time, he claimed he dealt in mirrors. <laughs> mirrors? Buy one from him that grants your wishes? Something like that. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a censor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Oh. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the censor? We can meet at the entrance. <laughs> 